hello guys welcome to an amazing sunny day here on another farm my name is a and this is a tv thank you guys for watching our videos subscribing to the channel giving us the feedback we appreciate all of them if this is your first time on this channel please click on the subscribe button share this video and leave us a comment we'll be glad to respond to your comment here we talk about everything animal farming goat farming snail farming catfish farming anything that you can think about in the animal husbandry field today we are at aikai doblo aikai doblo is in the greater accra region of ghana at a place we call jida and here we have built this ultra modern 3000 capacity snail greenhouse farm and so i want to take you around let you see the kind of work that we have done here so far um and so you appreciate um what we go through before we get to the final product like this so right off the back this whole place was like here so you see here we had to dig off all the topsoil so because the soil was very rocky and this is the only site that we have had to deal with most ants so i can tell you for a fact that now we know how to deal with ants in snail farming once and for all because this whole place had ant hills so the whole place had a lot of ants in the soil and we had to work on trying to get the ants out and that's what we say we have been able to crack that challenge and so henceforth contact us if you have any challenge of ants in your greenhouse so let's go inside you see we have a 3000 liter poly tank and when you come inside this is what your greenhouse should look like before you stock your greenhouse this is what we expect to see you want all the crops to grow to this level so you have enough shade for your snails when they get inside the greenhouse you can see that we have a lot of crops we have a lot of different variety of crops that we've grown here so we have the dwarf um, banana or dwarf plantain you have your cocoa yams um i mean you have your water lily you have your dwarf purple also here and a whole variety you have your sweet potatoes here so guys like i said this is what your greenhouse should look like before you stock it i mean you love it when you come, you get to this side this whole place looks like a whole new environment on its own and this is the environment we want to create for the snails so that when they get here they feel like they are still in their natural environment you can see this whole place is very grown and this is the best kind of shade that we can give them and we also have our 60 percent shade net providing extra shade we have our sprinklers up and working so this work is actually a masterpiece that we have done here 3000 capacity of um snails so um i'm sure we've shown you guys a lot of such videos that we have done in the past and today we are here to stock this farm the farm is ready everything works the crops are grown we have enough vegetation so today is the time that we want to stock so we've brought our 3000 snails we are going to count them do whatever we have to do and make sure that we stock the 3000 snails so don't go anywhere stick and stay we'll be right back so this is how normally we transport snails from one farm to the other in these baskets to allow for you know enough air and also to make sure that they don't crash each other whilst in the baskets so we we'll put the snails in water and the water is supposed to activate them because whilst they are all crumbled up in the basket they all go back into their shells so if you put them in water for a couple of minutes you see that as you can see in the green bowl that we are counting them in right now you can see that most of them are coming out of their shells but initially when we put them in the black bowl you see you saw that all of them were inside their shells so the water is supposed to activate them get them to feel a sense of aliveness so they come out of their shells and that's what you want you want them active before you put them 
in the greenhouse so we'll start counting them each one of them normally we count them in five so five ten fifteen twenty it makes for easy counting uh, you can see some of the snails are already out of the shell and climbing up so we'll count all three thousand of the snails and make sure that all of them are in good health no shells are cracked and um, the owner or whoever is taking stock will also verify these numbers for themselves aside that normally whilst we are counting we'll have owner around of course um, to verify the numbers and they will be taking account of whatever numbers that we are putting out so we count say 200 pieces and then they will record they will count another 200 pieces and then they will record um, and I, I normally like the owner themselves recording as we count so that at the end of the day and um, we we can build that trust and also as we are counting we will remove all the dead snails the cracked shells and um, those who are not fit to be put in the um, greenhouse so remove all of them and what they're putting them in the water also helps in this way so because this way they are cleaned and then it's easily it's easy to identify which ones are good and which ones are not very good and that we can use them for stocking so that's how the process of counting and stocking works after we've counted all of them or as we, as we are counting if we reach each number like i said if you reach like 200 pieces we can now go and put the 200 pieces in the greenhouse start stocking the snails from the back so we count maybe 200 pieces we take it inside the greenhouse and then we pour it gently at one spot but we have to start from the back so when you pour them down then you spread them gently on the ground you don't have to make sure you put them specifically individually at different different spots because even if you pour them down gently they will all find their way they will all find their way so if you look here you see that we poured all of them down but some of them have started climbing up and going um, their separate ways so uh, there's no point trying to put um, small small pieces of snails in each part of the greenhouse you can just put them in a group at one spot gently and spread them over and then another spot gently and spread them over and then right like i said they will all start finding their all their own way and very soon they will um, be scattered all around in the greenhouse snails they like to explore so as soon as you put them in a new environment they want to find out i mean explore the whole area find out where they are and what the enclosure is like and if they can get out so in the first couple of days you see that sometimes they will climb up um, to the shade net and all of that it's very normal i've seen people say that oh if, if, if as soon as they climb up to the shade net it's not normal and it means that the soil is acidic or whatever it could be that the soil is acidic but it's also very normal to find snails that have been stocked immediately in a greenhouse try to climb the shade net or find their way around the new environment in which you have put them so thank you once again for watching this video to this very end um, subscribe to the channel and see you another time bye bye